I am Penny Gomez and welcome to Pop Penny on Point with Profiles on Persons of Interest. This is the show. We don't leave you out to the action. You go online, you look at the clues that we've left for you and you try to figure out who's appearing on the show. And one lucky person with the correct answer wins a prize. Coming to you still from Santa Cruz. I'm loving me some Santa Cruz. Chilling Vibes, that's the name of the place. They've been great hosts to us. We're we'll coming to you from there today. And we have a packed show for you. Now, when I tell you action, action like that. And I hope you're ready because guess what? I hear doorbell. <laughs> Can you guess? It's a big surprise. Waiting for you behind this. Are you ready? There you go. A whole young brother. Welcome to pop. <laughs> you ready? You ready to pop or what? Yeah. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Guys, we're on Pop with all one of our special guests. I'm always excited when we have guests, as you know. But this one, because really, this brand, this artist has taken the nation by storm. Young brother in the house. Young brother. Who does right. that? Who does that? Yeah, man. I say it right, young brother, I should say. Yes, young brother. Brother. Also, oh, it's brother, not brother. Yeah, brother. Brother. Okay, well, hey, well. It's so good to have you on Pop. Thank you for having me every time, you know. You pop in. You pop What's in. Popping? Yeah, thank you. So, <laughs> listen, young brother, he is, he's, you've seen all the mother's milk still in his face, eh? And for those of you who don't know, he have a full government name called Akinathan Lewis. Yes, right, correct. So, given that name, it was too much of a mouthful and you decided, let's go with young brother. How did this name come about? No, well, um... My mother, now she is a big fan of history. Uh -huh. You understand? And she loved the Egyptian history yeah. of things. And, you know, going way back to Hebrews and, you know, going back to the tribes of Levi and trying, you know, like, who we are as black people, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. And she liked the name Akhenaten and my eldest sister name is Nefertiti. Oh, it's which a is whole the Egyptian queen. kind of vibe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to continue that with your family? Yes, I would. I would definitely. Yeah, because he he has a little family in nuclear family thing happening it's about a, about a pop. Yeah. To use if, if I could use that word to describe. What's popping? <laughs> What's popping? Yeah, so, are you? surprised by how much people are taken with your music and particularly young people there's a surge among them in terms of you know how you, your popularity and how they regard you and and, and look up to you I, I, well when i start this to be honest about four years ago correct yeah <laughs> i didn't expect everybody to you know gravitate as much as right now mm -hmm. you understand so how everybody liking and Loving what I do, and I just feel good. Plus, to everybody, that's always be saying, like, you know, your music could play anytime. Like, you know, your music mixed with soul kind, mixed with dance, so Afro is like everything in one, and it's just. Where you get that from? Because you are known for your remixes. That's people are hooked on that. You brought back some life into, I see, you, you do something with a baron, you do mm. something. Um, even my boy out of um, Barbados, mm -hmm. you know, doc, uh, Gabby with mm -hmm. Dr. Cassandra. What made you think of that? I'm a fan of the old school. Okay. You understand? I respect the old school. You understand? Because they is where everything started. If you want to be good at your craft, mm -hmm. you want to reach fine life, you need to study the elders, the people who was here before us, who said, Part and clear that way that even you want to be, you know, you to go down that path to be a great. You understand? You have to study the music, you have to love the music, listen to music. And when you really listen mm -hmm. the old school music, mm -hmm. that I really, but that have them thing have vibes in it, boy. Yeah, but compared you know to after the music playing But today. the young people listening to the latest rap, hip hop, trap music, etc. So was it a departure when your friends were hanging out? Saying, were you listening to that them old songs for? No. There's nobody not around me not like that. You know, mm -hmm. Everybody around me, the open to learning. Mm. You understand? It's not like, oh, were you listening? And, no, it's like, who sang that? Okay. You, you know? 
Uh, you have to have everybody here go sell the bongs because everybody who are around me does do music. Yeah. You understand? My whole circle is music. Now, you have some day ones that are part of your, your tribe, your DJ. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you know, pimping. Correct. And <laughs> Trenton. Yeah. And so, when you decided to go this route, did you look? How did you decide? Uh, well, taken with me. This is my. This is going to be the the the, the first circle, the the the, the intimate circle. A funny guy. A funny question because okay. I never really decide who like to say I watch and to say I'm like you will come with me. I gonna leave you behind. I want you. Mm -hmm. No, I I wasn't like that. You know? I help everybody. Now, as a person, if I help and I help from my heart, if somebody betray me. Mm -hmm. That's not going to stop me from still being a good person to say, well, mm -hmm. you know, this one between me, I can't stop helping people, boy, everything. You might have them always mm -hmm. betray, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I give everybody a chance, you understand? Yeah. So everybody has to work. Now I can't help everybody at the same time. Yeah. But still, I could, out of the, out of the 10, I can help five. And then that five now might, out of the five, three might reach. You understand? Yes. And them three could still bring two more along, four more along. You know? So you never know. It's true, you never know. You have just um, undertaken a particular um, program with the Ministry mm -hmm. of Youth, mm -hmm. doing the, the caravans with mm -hmm. them. I looked at a video um, recently of you and those children were just looking up like that, like in awe. How does that make you feel, that kind of response, when you're on the stage and you're looking down at these little ones, looking up to you? Does that, do you feel an extra pressure? Mm -mm. No? feel like a father. Mm-hmm. You feel like a father? Yeah, because I have a young one coming too. Yeah. So mm -hmm. when I see these children now looking up at me, I actually feel and I'm getting that feeling that, you know, all right, you have somebody going to be looking up at you the same way soon, so, you know. I just feel real good. Mm-hmm. I just feel real good okay. on the inside. Yeah. You understand? Sometimes I'm thinking on the outside when, you know, I'm in public, I just have a hole in my expressions and things and still keep a straight face and professional, and you know. But on the inside, I'm bossing with joy, you know. I'm eating up on the inside. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fireworks. No, I know you like, you respect the elders in the, in the genre, in all the genres, apparently, because I know you have various mixes, remixes. Which ones are your favorites? I don't, I don't favoritize music at all. Mm -hmm. Never, I never was a person, because a lot of people ask me, oh, where's your favorite song? I don't have a favorite song. A real songs I could say is my favorite. You understand? But you, but, you, but you like really local and Caribbean. Would you step outside yeah. and do? Um, other types of music. Oh, you mean? Yeah. Life has no limit. Why music should have a limit? Mm. Why you as a person should have a limit? Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. People like to enclose themselves in this box, not me. Mm -hmm. What give me a talent? Mm -hmm. I explore it in every single way, because you never know. You never know who might be the one to bring home a Grammy, might be bring home some kind of plaque, something. Mm -hmm. I never know. And if you had to define your talent, what would you say it is? If somebody said, you know, what is the talent that God has given you? If you had to define it. The talent God gave me is... Right? I don't know the description for that. I didn't even know that. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know what God gave me. Because every day I know I just surprise myself. Sometimes I, I, I sing in a song and I didn't even know I could hit that key. Mm -hmm. I sang a reggae song the other day, freestyle, never write it, freestyle. Mm -hmm. I never even knew I could have sang that. I hope somebody was taping so that you could go into the studio with it. 
No, it's it recorded in the studio first time I hear oh. them. Okay. Click one time, freestyle record, I don't bam. Oh, and it's, and it's done. It's Surprise. It's down. And you know, so I, every day I just growing in the music, you know, like how we mm. say in life, every day a different step, one step at a time. Yeah. Same thing with me, my music. Mm -hmm. you know, so, no limits. So mommy and daddy proud? Well, mommy proud, daddy not here. Oh. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, well. Yeah, man. We're just getting started. Yeah, we right. are just we, getting started. Don't look at the run, don't be rude. And if you lace up your shoes, <laughs> what's that's coming? my line. That's my line. Yeah. I'm supposed to tell you lace up your shoes because we're just getting started. What? Um, the thing about pop is this show is built on surprises, so there's a surprise for you, and I hope you're ready for it. Mm -hmm. Because when we come back from the break, your surprise is going to be joining us on the set. Surprise, man. Bring it, bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> Guys, stay tuned. You can't miss what's after the break on Pop. Plug into Plus. With Digital Plus, you get simply more speed to enjoy super fast fiber internet. More features that put you in control. More reliability to serve, stream, and share with no interruptions. Plus, more power with a better Wi Fi connection in every room to connect all your devices to your smart home. Plug into Plus. The home fiber network that gives you more to sell plus. Sign up today. The launch is quite comfortable. The aesthetics is exceptional. The service is just excellent. It is my first time being in the lounge and it's really quite lovely. Back on pop with none other than young brother. Who does that? Who does? <laughs> who does that? That's a line that you use. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Who does yeah. That? Who does that? You. Well, you. <laughs> you're taking all my lines. I have to watch you. <laughs> okay, so you're surprised. I hope you're ready for it. Mm. Uh huh. Bring it on. Okay, because guess what? Mm. I hear doorbell. Mm. Mm hmm. Hey. <laughs> Pimpy. <laughs> oh, Pimpy, and see me healing you up as Pimpy. Hey. Pimpy yeah, Pimpy man. Pimpy, man. <laughs> if it didn't snap it in real, come on. If it didn't snap it in real? Yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to yeah, I'm going to steal that little thing. Yeah. If it didn't snap it in real. Even when you like, when you like have on a, a good, Kit, like you know, when yeah. you dress up and it looking very beautiful. Could be a caption if it didn't snap it, it ain't if real. It didn't snap it real. You know? Trenton, I know you're done with that lingo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now catching on. Trenton Augustine, pimpin in the house. Where the backpack at? I leave it home. Leave home. You know, Teddy. you know, and Ted, it has a name too. Teddy. So this is your whole branded. That's was that planned? Yeah. It was planned. The backpack, the name and everything. I could ask you something, what's it in the backpack? Anything. Anything. <laughs> but majority does be like my passport and... You walk with that all the time? Not all the time, oh, but... Okay. But things. Like when I'm traveling here. Yeah. Oh. It's got like... Things, yeah. Medicine. 
Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay, then. So this backpack, you have a backpack too that we don't know about? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so, so, so he's yes, what? Yeah. Teddy, Teddy is a cool fella. He does just be there, and, you know? Yeah. yeah. Always together? Yeah, we live in the same community. I neighbor. I look yeah, over my wall. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're the childhood friends? Yeah, you yeah. come together. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think of him and his success? I find he's a great person with it, and he showed me a lot of things in life, you know? So, like, i glad for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with his success. 24? Yeah. What do you think of Pimpin? Brother, you love in the house. Pimpin, I'm a gene. He's in your gene? Yeah, I'm telling you, he's DNA? Yeah, Family. He but he's crazy. <laughs> I really call Pimpin crazy. How, that, how did he get that name? Who gave him that name? I... You gave him that name? What's the story behind that? He just pimp Vibes in, just vibes in. I tell you, when I say, when I say crazy, in. I mean like a mad person. You know? I mean, yeah. you know, like your personal life at the party. Mm -hmm, like, you know, mm -hmm. you just let, I don't know, probably how we on an interview here, he just quiet. Yeah. No, I like to enjoy myself and thing in party. Yeah. Thing, you know, well, like... I've seen you on the podcast, uh -huh. so you definitely <laughs> enjoy yourself. Yeah. Guys, I want to talk about this. This jewelry, because I looked at you when you came and I said, this this 10,000 ring and thing, you're not feel like, you know, being out there, given all that's going on with this big set of jewelry on. I will let Pim Pim talk for Pim Miss Penny, we are accustomed to this. You know? Miss this Penny, lifestyle. you know your age when they call you Miss Penny. Go ahead. This is the lifestyle we live in, you know, so we can't change her. We just have to just, we just, just put it on for the, you know, the glamour and the, yeah. you know, that is how we is. But otherwise, I don't really wear it every day. Yeah. I just take it off sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Correct. How about you? Sit me. If the answer right on the moment, we yeah. just have one this, you know, is, is propped, you know, because uh -huh. these entertainers, you know, the image yeah. mm -hmm. need to be mm -hmm. on point, you know. Mm -hmm. on a point. little flashy, yeah. you know, because, you know, you understand, photo shoot, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, Television yeah, show. Yeah, 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 you know? Yes. So, yeah, it's a lifestyle, but, right. you know, it's not everyday thing now, you know. How have you all changed, given the fame over the last four years? Because I know, yes, you're saying that you sort of retain that humility, etc. But some things obviously have changed because mm -hmm. that is life. So on a real, what has changed for you and for you? With me, I fly all over. <laughs> that is number <laughs> one. That's changing. That is number one. <laughs> After big up on that. Yeah. And I like what I'm doing. What's the favorite place <clears throat> you've been to so far? Experience. Um, right? Paris. I like my France. Paris too. I like a Paris. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Snap. If it didn't snap, is what? Which is? It ain't right. It's real right. Okay. What about you? Well, the way my life has changed, you know, me as a person for me, you know, like my image, different clothes, mm -hmm. you understand, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, around different people, so, you know, I gain different. Intelligence, you know, so I go try to, you know, be more professional, we are speaking mm -hmm. kind of about myself, mm -hmm. you know, try to better that. But other than that, our next change is like people view on me now, right? Mm -hmm. You understand? Because before, when I was who I am today, everybody didn't have nothing to say. You understand? But now, mm -hmm. it's like everybody, even like, you know, it, 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 even in family and all, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just just be cool. I yeah. just try to stay away from all that. Are they, <laughs> you know, I, I've asked some people before about this when they, they achieve a certain popularity, et cetera, and obviously, you know, you're making more money and et cetera, and people that you don't know might be kind of coming out of the woodwork and people hitting you up and saying, hey, you know, Shana, do you find that you, is that a, something that's happening? No, sharing is not a problem for me. Okay. As I I'm give happy her. to share. Okay. And as I give her. But the idea that thinking that I have to give or I always have to give mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is wrong. Yes. You understand? Yes. Because I see one just like everybody else and yeah. things to do too. Yeah. You understand? And don't think that because I wear all this jewelry and I might be driving a fancy car that I have money every day. Every day, yeah. I do have my downtime. So, yes. You are just 24. You're a little bit older than he is. 29. But, right, so that's right, so a little bit older than he is. You're sort of just getting started. Where do we go? What 
should we expect if we look forward 10 years from now? What should we be expecting from you? And likewise, you, Pimmin. I want to be walking in somewhere, winning the Grammy, doing something different, bringing out, you know, different artists. You know, I want to... It have a lot of artists in Trinidad here who are very talented, like Kutin. You yeah. understand? He just do so much good music. You understand? And they could actually trend and fly and see the world. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I want to go searching for that now, right? Right. Like, next big thing. Right. You understand? Not just big thing in soca or the big thing in dance hall. Why rap can't come out of Trinidad? People always saying, no, nah, but rap can't make it in Trinidad. Why? Yeah. Why? Well, might be the first to, to, to bridge that gap. You never know. Yeah. Pim, Pim, what about you? Me, I, from from now to the next 10 years, is like, I just want everything to change, like, you know, within the music now. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know? So mm -hmm. much people. Plenty music, talented music, people. Yeah, it's talented right? people, but music, I find music come like, it change, you know? Mm -hmm. To like, you know, it was a party time, and now it's like, you're dissing. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like, yeah. I, I don't really listen to them kind of music, but to the end of the day, music is music. Right. You understand? I love music. So what's your take then on, on, on the whole Trinidad and, and where it's evolving? Yeah, I just want it like, you know, everybody could change now. And right. Forget about this whole, you know, whole thing. So you're thinking that the Trinidad music, the lyrics are still kind of sen sensationalizing the use of yeah. guns, etc. Mm -hmm. So that's not the scene? No, it's not what you're doing. It's how we do it. How? Explain. The music, with them and I'm singing, all right? Mm -hmm. Trini bad, dance all, dance all, Trini bad. Yeah. Whatever. All the, yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's the message, mm -hmm. the sending in it. Now, listen, you is an influencer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Listen what people call you, influencer. Yeah. Your music influence. Sin, yeah. You understand? You not, you, you go say, well, you not telling nobody, you're gonna kill nobody. Either. No. But your music is influencing crime. You understand? Mm -hmm. It has so much other Trinidad artists who are saying positive Trinidad yeah. music, mm -hmm. positive music. You understand? But people, I don't know who we know in the world today, but mm -hmm. people gra gravitate to negativity quicker than positivity. Yeah, that's how Bacchanal thing. Yeah. Quick. Well, I really hope as, as two young people that you all can change that trajectory and that we really start putting out positive music and that really changes and that people will gravitate towards it the same way they do negative. Now guys, we're just getting started, eh? so we have a little challenge, not a challenge, it's just to get your opinion on a segment we call pop or flop. So if you like it, it's a pop. If you don't like it, it's a flop. If you're kind of somewhat like it, you could say plop. Okay, here we go. Mm. We have some street fashion here we want to get your take on. Is that busy? Uh-huh, what, what you all think? Busy. <laughs> nah. I guess that's a pop. Busy. Bad. It's too busy. That's bad. pop. This is pop? Yeah. Pimpin. Fresh. That's a flop. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. You all disagree good. Yeah. You crazy, boy. <laughs> all right, let's go to the next one. That's, that's a pop. A pop. <laughs> that pop? A pop, boy. So far, you all have agreed on nothing, eh? <laughs> no, nah. you're seeing a different side to him. That's a pop. That I dress in, brother. <laughs> Up in the sea, I see with that. Come on. <laughs> oh, this. Maybe we should let him go first because he. Tell me, Pimpin. That's a pop for you. <laughs> Not a flop. That's a flop. I know that this is a flop for you. <laughs> for sure. Okay, what about here? We're we looking at the, the, the socks or the shoes. Yeah, the or shoes, the, the, even the skirt. We like or we don't like? Uh, Pop or flop? It's a kind of... I look like a bread. It's a flop. <laughs> <laughs> a Christmas <laughs> bread. A Christmas <laughs> bread. Okay, so it's a flop. Yeah, a flop Next for sure. One. How about this? This is for a male, by the way. Eh? It's a man's suit. Yeah, that's popping. He is just not on you and your style at all. Like a ninja, you going mad? Okay. All right, so that's a flop for you. What about this? 
Tell me you can't wear this. Oh. Come on. Flop. This is a flop? I'm not wearing that. Oh. This is a flop for you too? It's flop. Okay. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. A warning pop in. That's... I never see. Now go back and go, let me go, see. Go one. back and yeah, go back into the other one. He, he, he should have wear black shoes, man. You have something against pink? No, pink is my favorite color. Uh huh. But. Yes, but in order to pop where you want to do there. But you pop, daddy. Nah, you mad at that pink. It's too much, there, bro. Pink is too much. Okay, so this is a flop for you, but a pop for you. Yeah, okay. A flop. All right, let's move on. Like pop. You look yeah, cool. Yeah, it's a pop. This is pop. Yeah, you look cool, there. Eh? Mm, all right. Uh -huh. Hip hop, fashion dog. This is pop. Yeah. Pin pin. That's a flop. That's a flop. No, I pop. Was that a purse? Yeah. Was that a purse? So you know that you know that <laughs> men's purses are a big thing right now. Is that Rocky with his bag, rocking and everything? Yeah. Mm. Okay, that. Hmm. Flop. Flop or pop? Flop. I know that. Okay, let's move on. Visit pop day and life. What about this one? Yeah, he popping. Nah. Whatever. Okay, so pop for you, but flop for you. Flop for you. Flop. Okay. <laughs> That's pop. Yeah, she wearing them J's dog. Yeah. <laughs> Fours go hard dog. Yeah, the Jordans. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is definitely a pop. Okay. Pop for sure. That you all did well, but I've just realized that you probably can't dress him and he can't dress you. Based on this whole little exchange here. No, th 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 listen to me. Just because we choosing, you remember them dressing different. Oh, watch how we dress here. I watch all the walls and the there. So you go have different takes. Mm -hmm. But we style now. Mm -hmm. He can dress better than me. I'm leaving it there. <clears throat> We will see who could do what better than who. Tell when we come back, ben, ben. When, we ben, come ben. back <laughs> when we come back, we will see who could do <laughs> who could do better than who. Guys, stay tuned. You see, you see what's going on on Pop. You have to stay tuned. We're coming back after the break. And pop, you notice where we left off that they were like this one saying that this one better than this one? We're settling it today in the kitchen. This trophy, the coveted pop kitchen challenge, pot to plate challenge, this trophy is at stake. And you know what? We're we keeping it very local. In front of you guys, <sighs> different forms of syrup. Mm -hmm. That's right, with the condensed milk. And of course, we have flavorings here. And what we need you to do is to create your topping for the snow cone. So you're being judged on flavors. If you need more ice, shaved ice, it's there. Um, but this is what, please, please, I have to have this. So please give me something palatable that, that would make me sick tomorrow to go to work. Okay. I beg you. <laughs> tell so, Pippin. <laughs> tell Pippin. He dangerous, I right? This one. <laughs> yeah, you, do, you don't have to use the, the flour, you know, unless there's some mixture I don't know about. But, you know, <laughs> and we love our, our NFM Ibis flour, but you don't have to. But you need to obviously flavor it with one of these drinks. And you have your bitters there. You have your water if you need water. And I am coming out of the kitchen. Please engage. So we, we want to hear what you're doing. Syrup. We're mixing so you're mixing the syrup. Look at your bowl here. Mixing bowl. Yours here. There are spoons right here. 
So you mix and any flavors then? You mix it however you want. Mix your flavor. And then pour it on, on the eyes. Yes, and one, two, one, two. Two for you, two for you. So two different snow cream. That's right. And I'm coming back to taste. And we want to see subtle it once and for all who taken home that particular That's trophy. Right. So we want to hear you and talk. Badabee. Go true. What flavor is this though? What is it? It is not the flavor, boy. Taste it. Taste it. Hey, boy. Mmm, that flavor is nice, boy. Huh? Yeah. What is it? You're taking it on. Me? I know what I'm doing here. That time in the pimping. Pimping and talking, you have to talk, boy. Oh, just now, I do. <laughs> I'm mixing this. She said, if you want nice drinks, I'm going to mix up nice. This is a TV show, so talk. <laughs> we outside. I well, know we outside. We mixing. We making a snow cone? All right. Put some condensed milk in this. There's my cup. Bye, Tamadana, we got a Mm. Gotta whip it now, gotta cook it up, like cook this. it up, cook it up, cook it up. Right, that done there. Hold on. So nice. Come on, boy. Hey. You know snow cone? Wait, we got a good boy. Time. Easy on the mini, dog. Easy on the mini. What are you doing? Take your time. They crush eyes. You didn't know it's this? I know we need kitchen people. Welcome. We call it this one kitchen sink snow cone. <laughs> kitchen sink snow cone. This is the, the, you never taste this snow cone before. This is the name of this snow cone. Kitchen sink snow cone. I didn't know what you call any or two, but they didn't name for mine. Right, we mix in here now. So I had a mix here of the, the orange one, the blue one, and a little bit of the clear one, right? And we get in the color of green. Yes, people. If you know who we are and you're watching this right now and you know your favorite color is green. And this snow cone is for you. Kitchen sink snow cone. Okay? So first. You want to get a little bit of mm -mm, orange. OK, I'm going to use the orange bitters because, you know, I just love the flavor of oranges. You understand? A lot of vitamin C, you know, so oranges have a beautiful flavor. You understand? So I'm going to get some of that orange in there. Now, you don't want to drown out the orange, so you just have one dash of the regular Angostura bitters. Or two. My bad. <laughs> you know. You do your bad thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but what you making it? Bro, I'm making the kitchen sink snow cone. It's time now, my snow cone done here, innit? Yeah, well, all right, bro. Now. Mm. Mm, if you could have only smell this and all, you would know. Now, you don't want to... Eyes are punching, guy. You understand? Eyes are punch. Punchy on. Not punching, punchy on. I'm a punchy on person, so I'm, I will be going with punching today. And we have the color of green here, so we're starting off with this cup, okay? And firstly, you don't want to pour the alcohol first for the alcohol to go at the bottom. So you, when you, you, you use your straw, you will get a strong alcohol sensation. You want to throw the syrup first. Gently in the middle. Gently in the middle. Gently in the middle. Gently in the middle. That's perfect. Oh my god, it's dripping. <laughs> That's when I know you could have this good. It's dripping. Yeah, man. Secondly, punchy on. Two corks to be exact, because of the 
size of the, you know? Yes, sir. Two dudes make a dummy talk. You ever hear that one? Two dudes make a dummy talk. You understand? You ever hear a dummy talk? That is what you just call it. Two dudes makes a dummy talk. Now listen to me. This is the first one. We don't want to add too much of milk because we don't want the milk to kill out the, the, the sweet sensation, okay? So what I will do here now is use my spoon to actually control how the milk coming out because you don't want the milk come out too heavy. Okay? Yeah, just like that. Just like that. All right. Oh my God, oh my God. No. Right. That is perfect. So we have the first runner up. Some people look like they know what they're doing, but I'm not so sure about the outcome. <laughs> but what I do know is that time is up. That's what I know. So let me let me let me try and assist you here with, with, with cleaning up some of this mess. Yeah. Let's do this. Pimpin, 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 you're serious, you know, for somebody who don't cook at all, you're serious in the kitchen. You're very serious. He just does something wrong, man. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you're adding the bowl with orange, orange. and now it's blue in the cup. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever goes he up in here. You do some kind of mad thing there. I, I... <laughs> Friend, you I'm know, when you drink this family, you know what they call this? The blue devil. The, <laughs> this, the, the devil is in that for oh, sure, Pimpin, because I, you have me scared. You have I, me afraid. I, I the All right. The blue devil. This is there, it here. There's, there's Finn. Wait, you, wait, you want wait, to get another finish. one? I got finish in touch. Okay. You want, is that yours? There? Yeah, this is mine. Yeah, so, so here we go. Whew. All right. So this is your kitchen sink snow cone? Yes, kitchen sink And snow what are you cone. calling yours? The blue devil? Yeah. And this is, what is this one? And that's the orange creamer. That's the <laughs> orange creamer. So you hold this, and you hold this. Because if you all feel you'll do me a piece of wickedness yet, you're not told, you're going to drink his and you're going to drink his. That's what you're doing. Come on, let me see. And, and please give him marks out of 10. Here we go, you have to taste his. Taste yours first, actually, and see if you like it. No, I'm going to taste you. All right. I'm going to taste mine now. All right, go ahead. Which one do you want me to taste first? Anyone, you could try and Go ahead. Which one do you want me to taste first? I can do Blue Devil. Man. Blue Devil, Blue Devil. Okay, here we go. The Blue Devil. That is our snow cone. Okay, like it tastes good because that's more than Come on! Come on. You need another one to make sure? It just tastes nice. like alcohol. <laughs> Sweet alcohol with Sweet. milk. Okay, how much are you giving him out of 10? Four. Oh, you are a tough one. Jeez, Pimpin. Okay, let, let's taste his. The kitchen sink snow cone. Oh, this one here? Only, only. Yeah. Oh, it's one snow cone you make? Yes, imagine. With all the talk and, and all the play. Oh, yeah. this green soda is looking nasty. <laughs> Let's taste it, bro. Don't lie. Out of ten. <laughs> can you, I can't drink now, I don't mind. That's too much milk in the middle of my big bottle. Oh, that's too much milk. But I can't drink. But you're so slimy, that is not my big bottle. You're wicked. No, I can't drink Tell that. Us Tell us the truth. Tell us the truth. Mm -mm, I can't drink that. That's a zero. <laughs> yeah. Man, this I can't drink that. This is your whole dog. friend, eh? That is a real nasty. This is a... Pimpin, you're lying. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> But you, but you know what, Pimpin, I want to agree with you because he didn't even want to taste his own thing. You taste it. Excuse, excuse. You need water? Oh, my. Pimpin have no chill. Pimpin had his things watching out his mouth. Any but ways that you mix it? Uh-huh. Let me hear. Let me hear. Oh, I would get it at seven. Ooh! Guys, it is obvious the battle is not going to be done anytime soon, but the good thing about it is on Pop, there are more challenges coming your way. Right after this break, if we survive the show that is. See you after the break. <laughs> Trinidad.
Trinidad and Tobago, since we first met, you knew it was love at first sight. We value and cherish the same things. We promised you the country's widest and most affordable mobile network, and we've kept that promise to you, our greatest supporter. We've grown your trust by ensuring you're always connected. From TNT's first fiber to the home network, to true 4G LTE connectivity nationwide and all for you. No matter how far you roam, no matter how you choose to be connected, Digicel is always close by. Building a foundation or even when it's just to say, What's it saying? You put on real weed, boy. I am so proud of you. As our network has grown, so has our offering to you. And we've always invested in you. That's why our greatest achievement will always be you, our customer. Digicel, we're better together. guys up to that row in the kitchen i don't know but it, <laughs> I, I, you know we we have about 14 connections here but like a breakup is about to happen but don't worry we mend fences by the end of the show what is it like working with him is it difficult is he a difficult boss no he's cool he's cool yeah. i know you had to say that because you're like but you can whisper to me though no but he's yeah. in real life mm -hmm. he's really my best friend I just make sure, I just make sure Aww. things done the right yeah. way. When it's coming to being punctual, mm -hmm. being on time. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. pimping and had the money to do it, if I had the money, come let me go. Yeah. Make sure you do it. And he's big man. Is he your best friend? He said that you were. Yes, all of his best friends. Me, Hottie Pimpin, Jesse, are known as Optimus. Mm -hmm. All of us are best friends. And Jesse's serious, guys. I've been yeah. dealing with Jesse. One, so, one, yeah. one. Mm -hmm. You can argue you now, next five minutes, and then the dream on. is bigger than who we are. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. goal is bigger than us. Mm -hmm. So no argument, nothing does separate. So guys, <laughs> I have been at shows, you know, when I'm stage managing and so on. Young brother comes on and I see an exodus of females trying to get backstage to meet him. How difficult is it negotiating that? But but do you enjoy it? I mean, Truth. is a lot of fun. It's very exciting, you know. I know these people support me and they love me. You understand? But sometimes it does be a little bit scary. Mm -hmm. Understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. I saw them coming at you. Behind like they go rough. You're like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> You know, like at that time I was performing in our country and they, they was telling me to come down in the crowd, come down. And I was like, nope, I'm not coming down there. <laughs> the country will not be named, by the way. Mm. Yeah, they will mash me up. And and how is it, you know, that the, the girlfriends, the, 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 the soon to be mummy of, of of young brother, um, how are they dealing with that? How do you, you know, because it's kind of hard. Well, I've always wanted to be the person who I am today. So even before who I am today, I was always talking about, you know, being who I am today. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's the reason why she is my girlfriend. Because, because she, she un signed up for it. She understands and mm -hmm. she, you know. Mm -hmm. And I love that about she. Oh, you know mamas, so, mamas. Cheers to mamas. Yeah, Guys, man. we have drinks in front of us. Cheers. Yeah, Cheers man. to mamas. Dong. Mm -mm. Ride or die. Pin yeah, pin. Man. Mamas understand the life I live in. <laughs> yeah. She just, you know, sometimes like, you know, certain pictures and things she does like, 
tooth to feelings for, but yeah, little performance and yeah. thing, you know. That is, but that's that's, that's, that's yeah, lifestyle. That's how we supposed to. That just blow over. So it's just. They know who coming. You coming home to them? Yeah, it's straight right. back to she. Okay. She's day one. Straight back. Day home. one. Day one. Well, I am day hundred and something. I'm just happy that they spent my time with me, guys. So before we go on to the next um, little segment, I do a segment called. Penny Spicks, where I really just talk about a book, a song, a movie, anything that sort of is, you know, making me kind of vibe and resonates with me. And for Penny Spicks for this segment, I really want to tell you that, hey, big up Farmer Nappy with his How I Live In. Mm. If you haven't heard that yet, better than them. You need to go no stream it. How I Live In. It has the endorsement of Young Brother. Up to the ceiling. With my hands them high. Oh Lord, what a feeling. It's peace of mind. I'm feeling real good. Oh yeah. This is the food I hope. <laughs> farmer, big up, big up, farmer. That's Penny Spicks. This is a game called Do Say That. I'm going to ask, and whoever gets it wrong drinks. I felt like a drink almost finished there, Pimpin, but it's okay. You have to give the name of the person whose song this is. You ready? I'm going to give you the clue. Belmont born but Tobago raised. This person is a two-time road march champion and two-time Calypso monarch. He is best known for his signature skip rope dance known as... Known as... The Shadow. What's the person's name? Shadow? Uh-uh. Yes, but more. There's more to it. Not just sh the shadow. What comes before shadow? Black shadow? No. No, nah, man. Come on, guys. What have you drinking? Mighty shadow. Drink oh. up. Drink up. I knew yeah, it. Yeah, well, I Drink up. It. Drink up, Pimpin. Yeah, something like yeah, OK. Yeah. Next one. <laughs> Drink up. Drink up. Yeah. Drink up. Next one. A soca artist popular for his frenetic beats and local renditions, a staple in Trinidad and Trinbago's carnival since 1987. These songs are as popular as they are infectious and will always be a part of carnival. And they always have some element of one of the elements of the earth. What are the elements? Eh? Water. Fire and wind. Mm -hmm. Oh, who? Who? It's just one of the elements he's dealing with. Tell me. David Rudder. One of the elements. He, his song always has one of the elements. He always sings it. Bungie Garland. One of the elements. Super Blue. <laughs> no. Oh. Iowa George with water. Iowa George. Drink up. Drink. Chill. Damn. Nah. Come in front for your blessings. <laughs> the water blessings. <laughs> okay, next one. <laughs> Next one. A uh, Tobagonian Calypsonian with a prolific international career that has spanned over 25 years. So, you know, it's not somebody because you ain't lived for 25 years yet. This Calypsonian has been honored and awarded the world over for her contributions to music. Who is Calypso that? Rose. Calypso Rose. Okay, take one. Drink out. Okay, so he is, he's, he's one up on you. Next one. A lavender born soca artist known by the. Uh, yeah, I'll leave that. She rose to fame in, in 2003 with a popular soca anthem. It's Carnival. That's sure. Yes. You had to think about that? That was too easy. Drink up. In a bacchanal, yeah. it's the roses. In, and then you're not know all of them. But Destro. How could you not know Destro? No, everybody, song That's alone. True, if you're it's watching, kind of yeah. Okay, let me go with this one now. This person is a stalwart. You're not supposed oh, to drink. <laughs> a stalwart in TNT's chutney and chutney soca genre. 
this person was born in Friendship Village, San Fernando. He is well known for his songs, um, Show Me Emotion, and Bolo. TikTok. Chris tick Garcia? No. Tick Ricky Jai? Ricky Jai, yes. <laughs> Pim Pim drink up. Pim Pim, I'm feeling sorry for you. Can we give Pimpin one, please? <laughs> okay, this one is yours. This one is yours. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Superstar. This person is a superstar. He began singing at nine years old with the hit, Get Ready to Draw. Marshall Montano. But that's the yeah. I thought we were giving yeah, Pimpin one. Yeah, yeah, give me that one. Marshall. No, no drink. No, <laughs> Pimpin, because, you know, should I hear from time I seen that? Come on. Come on. Come on, drink. Pimpin. Drink up. Poor Pim Pim. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. All right. This one. This one is yours. This is yours. You can't look at my bad. My God. He's resorted to cheating. Okay. This one is yours. A prominent figure during Calypso's integration with a Black Power movement of the 1970s. His songs are among the greatest known for their focus on consciousness and ethnic unity. David Rara. No. He died not so long ago. Black Stallions. Oh, I thought, oh. Yes. You could never say Blacks, but a Black Stalin. Black Stalin. That's my grandmother's cousin, though. OK, all right. So, so Pimpin, we did try to help you. Unfortunately, it wasn't working out. I'll go and do back my history. You have to go. <laughs> no, just hang with him some more. Share the draft. Share the knowledge with him. <laughs> All right, guys. We have one more break. And when we come back... I win this round, though. <laughs> and when we come back, yeah. Come back. Come back and see what we have for you right after this break. The lounge is quite comfortable. The aesthetics is exceptional. The service it is excellent. It is my first time being in the lounge, and it's really quite lovely. Here's another financial tip for you. Actually, two this time around. Compliments of Eastern Credit Union. The first one, automate your savings. You want to take advantage of the services offered by your credit union by having standing orders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's important. Set, up, set it up to send money weekly, fortnightly, or monthly to your deposit account or even a fixed deposit account. It's safe, fast, easy, and convenient. And it really does help you with streamlining those um, that savings and making sure that the money comes out every month because people like me, you need that kind of structure. Then, of course, it's important to have that rainy day account. You know what we're talking about. Somebody fall long sick, you see something nice, a bag or shoes that you want to buy, you need that rainy day account. Okay, maybe it's not for that purpose, but yes. So this is a deliberate effort that should be made to have an account whereby funds can be easily accessible in the event of an emergency. Super, super important. And thank you, Eastern Credit Union, for sharing those tips with us. Guys, I know you stay tuned because I know you want to see how we wrap in the show, right? Well, you know, I have a young brother, I have Pimpin next to me, minor study. He can put out his backpack, but it's okay, I forgive you. So imagine that we're in the studio. One of your famous podcasts. Yeah. I'm not hotty. I'm not I'm not hotty. And I'm not Jesse. Does Jesse have in studio with you? Yes, he is. Okay, so I'm not Jesse, but hey, I'm Penny. So I want you to actually do something a little mix for me, because you said you could freestyle just like that. A mix for me, just something to do with pop. That could work. Mm. Penny on point. And I'm gonna take this from you and you feel free to have your bottle and spoon across there. I've seen you with a bottle and spoon. I've seen you do a little something. 
I mean, making anything on the spot, but you know, I know you're such a creative soul, and I'm just gonna be here enjoying this. Pimp and go through now. To this beat though. Now give me what you want me to give me. Pum, 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 pum. Right, yeah, we good there. Pum, pum, pum. Hey, plenty on point right now, so we puffin. Vice Bill up and you know we not stopping. Money in my pocket, could I go shopping? I you don't know, so we not ducking. We outside, never inside. Yeah, the vice right side, building up sweet. Yo, yeah, we out in the street. And we be out on the TV screen. Everybody just rock and come in. Hey, so we outside, we puffin. Vibes up and you know we not. I say, Pimpin, where you get a bag? It just. Mm. Oh, God, I said, where you get that chain? It just happened. Hey, Pimpin, how you end up on Penny and Point? It just happened. And where's the name of the song? It just happened. When I say big, you say Pimpin big. Pimpin big. Pimpin. When I say big, you say Pimpin big. Pimpin big. Pimpin. Pimpin. Hey, hey, baby girl, when you whine, when you push back. Hey, baby girl, when you whine, and you push back. She's loving the ambience of my. Somebody call the ambulance for this check. We doing it long and we never done quick. And I know she's loving me because these girls tell me she feeling it. How you feeling? How you feeling? I know you feel it. Anytime you know you could meet me. Right now you're looking upon the TV. And you're spinning it wrong like a CD. Okay, then. What it was like Okay, then. And on that note, guys, cheers. Cheers, guys. All the best. Blessings upon blessings, guys. Blessings and stuff on blessings. Mad. <laughs> See you next time at Pop. <laughs> What's coming?